Okay, let's say you're going to your Joomla site and you get to your admin panel of your site. Right now I'm running WAMP server. WAMP is running and I'm going to the admin page and I go like this. I put in my uh, admin pass, uh, password here and, and I click log in and I've forgotten my password. Okay, so I wanted to make sure that you guys remember that there's two different passwords we're talking about here. First of all, we made a password, or we password protected the MySQL server with a root password, right? A, a root user account and then a password for the root user account. That's different than the administrative login password for each Joomla site that you make. So in other words, on my, on my www directory here, here's WAMP www directory. I've got two sites. I've got my site and site two. Okay, these are two separate Joomla sites. Each Joomla site, you know, could have its own administrative account to get in the back end with its own password. So I go here and I forgot my password and I can't remember it. So what can you do? I, I said I'd make a tutorial on how to do that. And this one, I had a student in here today, um, Scotty, who needed help with that. He had forgotten his password. So we'll talk about what you can do. Okay, well, first of all, um, here's a quick thing that you should do. I opened up Notepad, and I want you to write out this program right here. This is a PHP script right here. So we've got a PHP script here, and a dollar sign password, variable, and then equals, and then you put your password here. So I'll put here, I've got Dan rules, which is nice. I'll just change this to my pass. So I want to change my password for my admin account to my pass. Okay? There's a semicolon, that's a semicolon right there. And then this is a comment and it says encrypting the password using an MD5 hash. So then uh, dollar sign encrypted underscore password equals MD5 and then in, in these um, parentheses dollar sign password. Right? So this will encrypt this word with an MD5 encryption. And then echo the unencrypted password and then echo the uh, encrypted password. So we'll get some output when if we go to this page through our web browser we'll get the output of our password encrypted. Okay so just type that out just like it is put in your own password right here and then I want you to save the file just do a file save as and I save mine as random underscore md5 dot php and it's a text file and I saved it to my www folder. All right, I'll cancel that out and show it to you right now. So right here, there's my www folder, and there's the file, random underscore md5.php. Okay, so now I can go here to my web browser, and I can go to that page, localhost, right, random underscore md 5 dot php okay and then it says unencrypted password was uh, I need to refresh that oh, I never saved it let me save that file save okay and then rerun it okay unencrypted password is my pass the encrypted password and here is my encrypted password right there with the md5 hash and I'll just Control C to copy that, or MD5 encryption, whatever that is. I don't even understand it that well. Okay, I don't understand it at all, actually. Okay, and I'll Control C to copy, right? And now all you got to do is go to your WAMP server, go to PHP My Admin, all right? So I go to PHP My Admin, right? And I have to know which database I'm looking for. So in this case it's test site, this database right here. I've made a whole bunch of databases. It's a good reason to make your database name somehow related to your site. So this database is test site, okay? And I'm going to go down and I'm going to look for um, JOS, JOS underscore users. There it is, JOS users. I'll click down here. I'm right down here. And JOS users. And here's my users. There's only one user right now. Super administrator. Username admin, there's my username, and I'm just going to select that checkbox, and then I'm going to go over here to this pencil. Um, you see the, the pencil here says change, right? This little pencil icon, I'm going to click on that. It'll bring up this window right here, right? And there is the field for password, and then over here, here's the old password, and I'll just highlight it, 
and paste the new one and then I'll just click go and I should get an output one row affected okay so that just changed my password to a new encrypted password right so now back to here I'll refresh this window just to make sure okay there it is and admin and put in the password my pass and log in and I'm in so that was it so all you have to do is figure out a way to run an MD5 on your password and then post it right into your JOS users table find the user for your administrator and your PHP my admin use this tool uh, to change the record highlight that change the record and put in your new um, encrypted password right there and hit go to save it and you're all good alright I hope that helps and I didn't leave out anything